Hello, it's Don again, Don Markham, also known as the AS Lifter. I wanted to talk today about fatigue and lack of sleep. With ankylosing spondylitis, people like myself, we tend to have not the best sleep habits in the world. I can't really sleep steady for six to eight hours, so I sleep for a couple hours. I'm usually up, moving around, walking around, trying to get my body where I don't get that throbbing from being in you know a constant position for one any given time, then I'll lay back down and try to go back to sleep. This goes on and on, you know, throughout the night where usually I'm up anywhere between three and five times a night. So you can, as you can imagine, in the eight hour period, being up that much, we're not really getting a lot of quality sleep all within, you know, that six to eight hour period. It's all spaced out. And it's, so it's just something I've gotten used to. I was diagnosed formally in 2014 with this disease uh, when I had my first major flare-up, but I've had this lack of sleep or fatigue issue way before that, way before the diagnosis. And this is The disease has always been there. I just didn't know what it was to begin with and kind of blew it off and thought, well, it's not that bad, it's, you know, Superman type uh, mentality, you know, just let it go, you know. So... You know, as time goes on, I've gotten a little bit used to it, or I can function with it, but I never get the quality sleep that, you know, we probably deserve. Uh, that leads to what they call mental fog. A lot of common, a lot, another common thing that occurs with people with ankylosing spondylitis or with uh, immune, autoimmune diseases in general is that we tend to get mental fog, meaning that there's times where our brain just doesn't want to work. It's, we're tired. The, the lack of sleep is starting to catch up. It's rolling in there. Uh, and then we get to the point to where, you know, the brain's basically saying, hey, <laughs> we're done. So you kind of get, you know, lack of memory uh, happens from time to time. The, uh, just the, to be able to concentrate is just not there from time to time. And, and like I said, I've been dealing with it long enough to where I'm starting to I basically learn how to overcome or surpass some of these, but we still all deal with it. This is uh, affects a lot of people new because, you know, until you get to the point where you've gone years and years and years with, you know, limited sleep and, you know, segmented, it kind of takes you a while to adjust to it. You know, and there's some times where I wake up and I just don't have any energy. I don't have no motivation. And that comes again from the lack of sleep and the fatigue. Uh, the disease just tends to wear on you mentally and physically, you know, as time goes on through the years. So this is a little bit about fatigue, a little bit about what I, what I deal with. I know many others out there deal with it as well. Uh, so I really don't have an answer. I found for me personally is I found uh, within health, within the health, uh, I guess, supplement area, they make some supplements that help you sleep and the theory is that is in in working out or you know bodybuilding or even in powerlifting like i do is when you sleep if you get the long periods of sleep that your body's actually reproducing or building the muscles at that time so i found out personally that those help me not i'm still not getting the six and eight hours at a time but they do help i'm getting better quality sleep when I take those and I'm waking up feeling a little bit more refreshed than I do if I don't. And again, it's something I can't take every day. So again, I kind of cycle on, take them for a while and cycle off where I don't take them. So it, it's, you know, the fatigue sucks. Uh, it's something we can, we, we deal with. I can't really break it down or explain, but you know, that leads back into a lot of people with ankylosing spondylitis just at least somewhere, I guess could lead into your depression which I talked about in one of my past videos. And it also can lead into, you know, your lack of motivation, which, you know, I hear a lot of people complain, and that goes back to that invisible disease that I talked about in one of my last videos as well. You know, people don't see all the battles you're fighting or all the things you're facing. So again, uh, that's a little bit about fatigue and lack of sleep and something I deal with, and I'm sure, I, I know for a fact, which I'm not sure, but I know other AS sufferers deal with it as well. So again, please follow me. If you'd like to like one of my messages or some of my videos, please hit click that subscribe button. Follow me on YouTube. Uh, you can also follow me on Instagram under Texas Markham. I'm on uh, 
Facebook under uh, Don Morgan, a, a fitness journey with ankylosing spondylitis. Again, thank you for your support.